It is the morning of my brother's wedding. We are staying, or we have stayed, in a Premier Inn, in a hotel, for the first time since before lockdown. And of course, that means we've forgotten loads of stuff. Um, we have no toothpaste, so I'm heading out to buy toothpaste now. That's why I'm still wearing yesterday's clothes. I've just got up, no shower yet. I've also managed to break the charger for my Apple Watch. I have it with me, but it's not working, so I think I've broken it somehow. There's nowhere nearby where I can buy an Apple Watch, so I'm gonna go and buy an 11 pound Casio watch from Argos. So I just have a way to tell the time today. That's gonna to go really nicely with my suit. I'm also gonna grab some breakfast while I'm out because Anna doesn't want hotel breakfast. It's expensive, all that kind of stuff. So I guess while I'm grabbing toothpaste in the supermarket, I can grab something in there. And then when I get back, I need some kind of shirt ironing solution because the shirt that I have bought for the occasion is still wrapped in plastic so I need to hope that with new Covid rules and whatnot we'll still be able to get an ironing board and an iron to our room. I assume that's not going to be a problem. It is just gone 10 o'clock, we have to leave at 1 to get the girls and get to the wedding for 1.30 so at the moment we have plenty of time, Anna inexplicably is already getting ready women are weird and I am gonna drive around my old stomping ground in Peterborough to like I say find some food find some toothpaste and get the cheapest watch I've bought since probably ever I think it's gonna be cool oh and the other thing in uh, in two years of not coming in hotels I forgot just how bad the internet situation was in a hotel there's no 4g in our room 3g is very spotty tried uploading the vlog over 3G overnight. It got 11% uploaded over eight hours. So I've now spent a fiver on the hotel premium Wi-Fi, which gives me an upload speed of one meg. So it's been sat on that for about half an hour. It's now up to 36% uploaded. If that's not uploaded by the time I get back, that's why there was no vlog yesterday because I couldn't get it uploaded but I'm sure I explained that somewhere else. To the toothpaste-orium. Well, it's taken me an hour and I've left my glasses in the car, so I'm gonna be doing the rest of my morning preparation in my sunglasses, um, but I have an ironing board. Uh, no, no, don't touch that, don't touch that one. I'm not. I have, I have an ironing board, I have an iron, I have toothpaste, and I have a timepiece. So, we are good. Although I am gonna have to now spend the next two hours in here in my sunglasses, <laughs> unless I walk back out to the car. <laughs> I'm not going out to the car. I've got to get ready. We're leaving in less than two hours. I've got to do my beard. Well, in a frankly ridiculous state of affairs to happen half an hour before we're supposed to leave, I've got my shirt, got it ironed. It's the same size shirt I always wear. Fits fine on the body where you might think, oh, it's kind of got a little bit fat, it might not fit. But somehow the same style, size, shop of shirt that I've been wearing for years, <laughs> it's now too short on the arm. Have my arms got longer? What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? This is ridiculous. Well, I'm just about stopped sweating, still with the uh, sleeve situation going on, but I have collected a number of other people. I think probably we should all have, let's show off our outfits. Starting with you. <laughs> Give us a twirl. <laughs> <laughs> and the shoes! Oh, shoes. Hooray! Now we've got this one. Hi. Who's wearing oh, not the same shoes? This one. <laughs> Looking very dapper. Quite similar shoes, actually. Oh, very nice. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one. Thank you for that lovely foot shot. There. Shoes. <laughs> the meal completed. We've now come in a in a big tent. You like tents, I do like tents and we're hiding in the corner so this is our <laughs> spot. I'm sneaking the camera on quickly because there's too many people here to check who wants to be on camera and who doesn't so I'm just sneaking in the corner. Just it's, got a, it's got a rainproof splash cover on the side of it it's good so if I spill my drink we're good. We were absolutely in the wrong place before we are now sat. We were told to go through there. I know <laughs> but we're now sat here where we're gonna have a little uh, mm. wedding situation it's nice and windy under here, so I'm finally cooling down a little bit. By the way, over there, this crazy golf. I assume we're playing crazy golf later. We are playing crazy golf later, right? Even if it's not part of the plans, we are. Yeah, absolutely we are. As you can see, it got hot. So I've solved the, both the heat issue and the sleeve issue by going back to the waistcoat plan and sleeves rolled up. I don't quite look wedding worthy, 
but you know what? My hair's so I'm still a very now. pretty boy. Kind yeah, that's because it's, it's been all rainy and wind. there was a little bit of rain, <laughs> a lot of wind. I got to throw some confetti right into my brother's face, which was good. Hopefully there's a picture of that. He reckons he shut his eyes in anticipation. <laughs> We've got photographic evidence, hopefully, when the wedding photos come back. But we are now just hovering around, waiting for the... Uh, Children. The disco. <coughs> Got you. We're right next to a field, so I'm sneezing a lot. Everyone say hello to Grandad. <laughs> hello. hello. Everyone's saying hello to you now. <laughs> oh, it's great. He's here too. These people just spiked my drink. Uh, not me. You. Specifically this one. This one here. <laughs> spiked my drink. <laughs> I haven't drunk alcohol for about five years. Like that. Like that. And um, I sat down to have a nice sip of my pop, <laughs> quenched my thirst, and I felt like my tongue had been stripped out of my mouth by horrible alien flavours. <laughs> Somebody's Captain Morgan spiced rum. Why would you put something that tastes like that in something as delicious as pop? I don't understand. You people are weird. Luckily, one sip, I managed to get away from it. Back on my mm, lovely pop. Well, I've just made the discovery that this camera that I got recently, the Sony ZV-1, the one you're watching me through, I have no idea how to take a photograph on it. I just tried, no idea. So, apparently I'm using this for photos. So this is the only camera I've bought. Didn't bring my camera bag, because this one told me I wasn't allowed to bring my camera Liar. bag. Liar. You said I wasn't allowed to bring a bag. Liar. So I only have one camera with me today, and it's the one that I've never attempted to take a photograph with, and I have no idea how. Now my dad has no record of the cake that he made. Although well, I did take a picture on my phone, which I'll put on screen for you now. Um, I'm just trying to pose for a thumbnail of everybody, so I need Owen to lean in a bit and Anna to fill this gap here where my hand is, so lean forward a bit. Yeah, there she goes. And everybody, smile! Give it big thumbs, everyone! Big thumbs! No, no. <laughs> They're so miserable. We just had some lovely barbecue food. Now we are heading out the front gate because I'm reliably informed there's a horse out here. So we're coming to say hello to the horse. Hello horse. Hello additional horse. Hello more horses. I think this is the horse we're officially saying hello to. Where are the saddles? I want to ride one. Just go and ask, I'm sure they've got some. We should have brought him some bread or something from the barbecue. He's just got grass for tea. Go and get him some salad. You didn't, but you didn't think you'd be seeing a horse today, did you? Um, no. Oh, well, now you've seen a horse. Ah. One moment. Look at what you ripped it. It's like, mum. Don't know, don't. Bet you didn't, no, think, don't. <laughs> do bet you didn't think you'd be seeing a horse today, did you? No. Well, now you've seen a horse. Oh my God. I mean, I'm really glad I've seen a horse. You've seen it. There's no, one no running. Day. There was a running horse. Oh, it's There's a running horse over there. Or oh, he was running. Oh my gosh, now he's. Yeah, that still horse was, he knows he's been caught running <laughs> and he's not supposed to be. So as soon as I take the camera off him, he'll start running again. There you go. There you go. Go on, run, run. Right, I'm turning the camera off now. No, he didn't fall for it. We've just come to check to see if this is a real horse. It's not. That one, confirmed plastic. It's not food yet. That cow is smaller than the horse as well, the cow that's over there. A little upset oh. we didn't get on here earlier when it was open. We've made a big mistake here. We have now relocated to the outdoors because it's very, very warm in there and we have refound this human being here. Hello, this human being. Anna's drunk. I don't drink. Anna's, Anna's drinking. It's only eight o'clock. You wait. I've been here since You wait. A couple of hours time. <laughs> We're going to try and film her falling over later. It's starting to get a little bit late now. I've decided to move on to the hard stuff. Bottles of Fanta. It's not even zero. This is a full sugar beverage. I'm going nuts now. Well, we have reached disco o'clock. It is... Hold on. Do me. Got to show off my new toy. It is... 
10.05. And I'm the only one still outside now. Everyone is in there dancing. I'm, uh, I'm not cruel enough to include dancing in the vlog. So I think this is probably it for the wedding. We'll probably check in very briefly when we're back at the hotel, but it's getting a little messy in there. And as the only sober person in like a three mile radius, I feel like it's my responsibility to make sure there's no video evidence of anything that's happening in there at this point. I know I said we were probably done talking here. We're not done talking here. Just a quick game of musical statues. And now we've sent Lucy back in on a mission to get some more wedding cake. Because <laughs> we're pretty hungry. It's 10.30 now. I'm pretty peckish. So cake is being scavenged for. But we can't all go and lurk around the cake. Well, we did show the shoes earlier. We need a disco ball where you go. Yeah, there you exactly. go. Yes. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I warned you, you'd get drunk, Anna. There's drunk Anna. <laughs> you shine a light on them if you want, yeah. There's an emergency. Wow. There's an emergency. What sort of emergency? They've had the cake. What? You're the worst <laughs> thief in the world. I literally walked in and they put all the cake in boxes. Oh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Take the boxes. Hey, can we have the box, please? Everyone's dealing with it. Oh, Lucy, you're so slow. I just I I've lost my bag. Looks like we're stopping at McDonald's on the way home then. Oh, McFlurry. Yeah. 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 As uh, as I predicted, we might. We've ended up at McDonald's for Children's some decisions. flurries at ten past eleven at night. It's not even the nearest McDonald's to where we were because the um, that one was closed. Back at the hotel, it's gone midnight. Anna's has given up on her shoes entirely, and is just carrying them. Our room's just up here. This hotel much more full than I thought it would be. The car park's heaving. I think we're close to full. We are back. I think board's still there. I hope I wasn't supposed to give that back this morning. I almost pulled the iron across the room. Just kill this for a second. Oh yeah. We'll just turn that off at the wall for a second. Saying? We've just got to say goodbye to the floor. So We've made it back. I've now got to edit you. So, as it is nine minutes past 12, according to my new sexy watch, I best get on that. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>